What can local skeptics do to improve um, the public understanding of skepticism? I mean, we've been talking about you know science communicators. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are amongst um, being a science communicator. You're amongst people like Phil Plate, Neil deGrasse Tyson, late Carl Sagan. Um, wow. <laughs> I mean, th those are the. the well, I thank when, you. When I hear the when I hear the word science communicator, sure. these are the names that come to mind, mm -hmm. and, and now yours. So, I mean, what what advice could you give to you know the local skeptic who isn't you know famous or doesn't yeah. have um, a, a science not necessarily a science background, but you know, maybe a job in science like Phil Plage. Sure, or yeah, like somebody that. who's maybe lacking that media platform or doesn't want that media platform. Sure. I think th the truth is that we can be um, truth tellers kind of along the gamut. So you can talk about somebody like Carl Sagan, who is world famous, who had this amazing show Cosmos, and Neil deGrasse Tyson is following in his footsteps soon with the kind of revamp of Cosmos. Um, and then you can talk about maybe a, an undergrad or a graduate student who can deliver a scientific method to other students at the university or who can deliver a scientific method, sorry, a scientific message to, you know, his or her little brother or sister. I think we are all in this together and, you know, some people have kind of a loud mouthpiece mouthpiece and some people have a smaller mouthpiece but we're all kind of trying to achieve the same goal so really what I think is most important especially with the skeptic movement which involves both kind of scientific thinking some sort of um, squashing of pseudoscience squashing of uh, mythology and superstition and also kind of that third prong which is the atheist movement which I'm, I'm really involved in all three I think specifically with atheism, it's very important to speak out, to talk about why you don't believe, and to talk about who you are as a person. Use that as context, because I think the biggest problem with communicating about atheism is that individuals oftentimes don't think that atheists are moral beings. They see us as the other. And so to be yourself, be involved in the community, talk about your morals and, and be good people who give back and also say, you know what, there's all of that, but I'm also an atheist, I think is going to start to set a good example. Yeah, there was uh, that, the, the recent uh, story of Rebecca Vitsum uh, from uh, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. And uh, then uh, Joel Klein from Time Magazine wrote just the, what I think might be one of the uh, silliest articles about how the secular humanists aren't, aren't out in these uh, relief efforts. And I, and, yeah. I, and I have to think to myself, uh, we are, but we're not trying to gain anything from it, which course. is why we're not saying, oh, by the way, look at the back of my shirt, it says I'm a secular humanist or something. Exactly. I mean, we're not out to convert, right? Because we yeah. have nothing to convert somebody to. And we're definitely not out to deconvert because I think that your own beliefs are your own beliefs. And so long as your own beliefs aren't harming, I mean, that's when I try to step in. But if your beliefs aren't harming, you know, me or other people in the community. I'm, I'm really not concerned about that. What I am concerned about is living in a country where it's just assumed that we're all believers. I would love to see more secular conversations happening. I would love to see, you know, Wolf Blitzer not grilling somebody in the midst of a disaster about whether or not God helped her through it. And instead sure. just saying, you know, aren't you glad that you came out of this alive? It's it, it's the fact that there's just an assumption sure. that we're all believers that really gets to me. And so I think we're not trying to make it so that there's no God in people's everyday lives. I'm not trying to make it so that there's anything wrong with you, you practicing your religion, but definitely don't assume that I want to do that too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I appreciate your time. You've been, you've been absolutely wonderful. And Thank I appreciate you, you uh, helping us out with this video series. Of course. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much.